Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Momentum Stock Time once again with Mike Vodka, our Momentum Stock Analyst at Zach's.com. Got a couple of more stocks in that category that he'd like to tell us about. One is the Bank of Montreal, BMO, the ticker symbol. Have you talked about this one before? I don't think I have. Okay, maybe it was. I think it was else. covered in the value segment as well. Okay, but now uh, that we've established that it's a, a value, it was a value play. Now it's crossed over to the momentum. Yeah, side. It actually, it kind of still is a value play, but the momen- momentum is so strong that I, I felt it needed recognition. Okay, <laughs> that's fair enough. Um, well, it's a playoff of what's happening in the financial sector. We've seen a lot of stabilization within uh, the companies, and basically, it's had a huge effect on their share price, including um, Bank of Montreal. Mm-hmm. Um, now, just going through some quick numbers here. They're primarily out of Canada, but they also operate in America a little bit. Um, they were founded in 1817, so this is a very old company, mm-hmm. and it's it's a large company too. They have a market cap of 28 billion, so this is a very big bank. Okay. Um, so, like I said before, it's like you know it's a playoff of what's happening in the financial sector, and we've seen the same thing happen with Bank of Montreal. Um, they had reported second quarter earnings on May 26th, um, pretty strong. Earnings came in at 80 cents. Analysts were looking for 71 cents, um, and then going into a little more detail on the earnings side, they had they, they a couple of their primary business segments looked pretty strong here. Uh, Their personal and commercial banking segment, their income was up 30%, and their capital markets segment, their income was up, I think it was 33% from last year. So you can see a couple of the leading areas doing well for the bank. Mm -hmm. Now, they haven't been totally immune to some of the problems of the financial sector. They've had some non-performing loans, some non-performing assets, but not to the scale of some other banks. They've been a little bit more conservative. Uh, within the last year, they've beefed up some of their capital reserves. Um, they have $372 million uh, on re- reservation for losses, and that's up 100, about $150 million from last year. Okay. But when you're talking about a bank that's as large as Bank of Montreal, that's a fairly small number there for losses. Okay. Um, now, moving forward a little bit here, um, you know, the estimate picture looks strong. The current year is at 367. Yep. Um, so that means their PE multiple is 13 and a half times. Uh, and the, right now, the S&P is trading at about 17 or 17 and a half. So it's a it's pretty nice discount to the overall market. That's as of August the 6th, the date of this conversation anyway. Okay. Um, and then as, moving on to the share price here, what we've seen is the shares took off in early March at right about $20, and since then it's crossed 51 So um, pretty nice appreciation right there. Okay. What's the chart look like? Um, oh, I'm sorry, the chart, yeah. We're, we're kind of just talking uh, about hello, the chart Mike. a little bit. <laughs> um, well, like I said, you know, we've had a pretty nice run here. It's doubled in just the last four months or so um, across the $50 mark recently. There looks to be a little bit of um, resistance support at that area, but right now shares are above it, so that bodes well for the future. All right, and then there's Stone Energy Corporation, SGY, the ticker symbol, stock trading on the New York, operates as an energy explorer in specific regions, Gulf of Mexico and Appalachia. Yeah. Right? Just in those two regions. Yeah, a fairly targeted approach to their exploration. Yeah. Yeah. And kind of a smaller company, too, a market cap of $420 million, But, you know, like I said, they're very targeted on what they're going for. Um, so this is, a, this is a playoff of the energy story here. Uh, as equity markets have rallied and the markets become a little bit more confident that there, there you know, may be a recovery, you know, we've seen that, that, that tight relationship between supply and demand come together again, and energy prices have accelerated pretty aggressively. Right now, crude's trading above 70, it's you know, right about 71, 72, and for an exploration, an energy, or a crude exploration, we'll see those elevated crude prices go right into their share price. And, that's pretty much exactly what we've seen with uh, Stone Energy. Uh, recently, they reported their second quarter earnings, July 30th, and they had a really nice beat. Uh, they produced 65 cents per share. Analysts were looking for only 10, so that's a really solid beat right there. All right. And analysts are also bullish on the company because estimates have basically been skyrocketing. Uh, about 90 days ago, they were projecting a loss of 72 cents. Now they're looking for earnings of 53 cents, so that's a gain of $1.25 in a short period of time. Mm-hmm. Um, as opposed to Bank of Montreal, this stock's a little pricier. Uh, the, the current year uh, estimate, like I said, is at 53 cents, so in PE multiple about 22 times, so it is trading at a premium to the market, maybe a little bit overextended in the short run. So does that mean the steam is running out? I wouldn't necessarily say that, but um, if you're looking for, you know, it really depends on the time frame that the investor is looking at. If you're going to be a one to two year person, you want to be a little bit more strategic in your entry point. But if you're going to be a five to ten year, then you should probably be okay. Okay. 
And then moving on to the chart here, the final piece of the puzzle. Yep. Um, this this stock is, I mean, it's produced unbelievable gains in the last four months. It bottomed out at a buck fifty. It actually, going back a little bit here, which I thought was interesting, is uh, when oil prices were at one hundred and forty-seven dollars last year, the share price was at sixty-eight. And then when when the oil market kind of collapsed a bit, I bought fifty from sixty eight to a dollar fifty. So it was a fairly brutal sell off. But but since then, you know, prices have recovered. Uh, it's rebounded from the dollar fifty area. Now it's at twelve dollars. So those are big gains. All right. Do you own either of these two? Uh, no, I don't. Check out some more momentum stocks that Michael has written about on Zacks.com's homepage in the upper right hand corner, where we keep all of the Zacks ranked buy stock suggestions. Mike's category is momentum. If you click on the headline that's next to that momentum listing, it'll take you to the most current story that Mike has written and uh, an archive of some others. With Michael Vodica, I'm Terry Ruffalo.